Okay. Shite. And there you have it. One new. Testing, testing. Is this battery going to work? Because the pissing thing's just switched itself off on me. Morning. Morning. Yeah, Alex just woke up. Mm -hmm. First day back. He nearly flew home yesterday. And it's the, what is it today? 20? 31st. 31st of March. It looks sunny, but it's it's about one degree. Bloody freezing. We've had two lovely weeks and it's gone very cold today. But we're here to do another lintel. Carbon yeah. copy of the last one we did on this job. What else did we Just over Alex's doing? shoulder. It's been six months since we came up at this one. But, um, just getting this steel fabricated and galvanised, which just took the time. And then we disappeared for three and a half months. But yeah, we're, um, we're going to get out of the van, go and have a look and uh, get cracking on it. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey? Nice. <laughs> right. We're uh, trestled up. We've covered the stones up so we don't get the first stones full of crap. Obviously we, we can clean the drive. It's a bit dodgy because the garden's on a slope and the the, the, um, the flagging isn't. And But as you can see, it goes up a little bit. But it's it's flat and it's safe. It's not Stephen and Alex Jones, it's not awkward. No. So we've pulled it off a bit so we can get room to get the strong boys in. So I'll head up and show you. Right, this one isn't as damaged as the one up the road, but I'm pretty sure this one's leaking. As you can see, someone's had a go at fixing it. The good old just fill the gap up and hope for the best. And you can see it's still cracked. Um, but I think I know why this one's leaking. This is the same old thing again. They've put this trim in above the window. We'll be taking this out and putting a flat trim in and sealed it. So any water comes down, it's going to hit this. And it's, you can see where the water's been gathering in there. But it'll come to the ends and it's going to work its way in there. That's where the rusty lintel is, as you can see. This is coming off. We'll take this out of our way. Excuse me, there we go. So that can go back on later. Yeah, see the crumbling water? That means the lintel's lifted. Lintel goes to there, which is what ours is going to do. So this will all be coming out. Um, I'm pretty sure the trays were good on these jobs, so we'll see. We're going up to here. I'm going to take these three out, go back to here, back to there, so we can get our upstanding and our cavity tray in. Um, we might need to extend the original one and reuse or hopefully yeah just extend it um, and this is in better condition than the one next to the one and after lots of abuse on the uh, last video we did peace 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 as you can see three quarter so I'm just taking note where the three quarters and putting it back in the same place which I didn't do last time and I got so much stick for breaking the bond but the uh, the bond isn't the best on these houses anyway but um, always take criticism on board and I'll be taking a picture of this well I don't need to take a picture I just need to get the three quarter back underneath the other three quarters 
so again we've got to try and get these all out in one piece which hopefully the reciprocating saw let us do Somewhere. Yeah. Uh, got yeah. The drill. The drill is just to get us started to get us a hole in. That gets us the blade in, and we're away then. Um, yeah. So we're all set up, ready to make a mess. Covered the windowsill up. Um, yeah. Let's get cracking. in a bit. Battery's ready for going. Ready, just ready for a battery change out, it's been so cold. Anyway, you know we always have a speed bump. Well, today's is more of a brick wall. We've hit a brick wall. I'm trying to keep myself calm, but um, I've been away doing a pointing job for over a week while that's been off. So I just cleared the van and all the tools. So I've gone round, got the radio, got the the uh, silicon, the packers, the vents, the DPC for the, but never thought to check the tools. So we've got no reciprocating saw, we've got no grinder, we've got no big drill. So all we've got is that poxy little Hitachi drill with a 8mm bit in it, because we haven't even got any bits in the box, and a handsaw. Thank God the mortar's soft. But even the soft mortars putting up a fight. So, so far, we've cut from there to there. That's probably took us 10, 15 minutes. So we've probably got about that five times that to go. I could just go home and get the reciprocating saw, which will take us 10 minutes to do, but it'll actually take me over an hour to go back home because it's a 26 mile round trip. The way fuel is at the moment, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to keep going till the saw gets blunt and then cut, chop the saw off. And then go down a bit more just have to persevere but it's just thank god the mortar's so soft otherwise we'd, we'd be really be snookered so um yeah that's today's bloody cock up check your van for the tools you need i th think me and alex both thought that was a reciprocating saw but that is the old four inch grinder box with a yeah with a metabo um four inch grinder in it which is basically useless to us today so anyway I won't even bother filming this bit because there's no point it's just us sawing out with a hand saw so we'll catch you in a bit quick update it's currently um, 20 to 10 Alex just in the van having a quick break I'm going to join him in a minute so there you go first acro's in first couple of rows are out and here's your standard issue lintel um, I'm thinking 70s, late 70s, early 80s maybe. But, um, the trays above the lintel, like one course above, that's fine. I've seen that before. Um, no wheat vents across the whole thing. No, well, wheat holes back then. But there's the, uh, this is the tray. This is it. I'm not shocked by this anymore. Where's my Gorilla Sub? There you go. Oh yeah, Gorilla Subs. Bought from D&J Projects. Here we go, another section. That's just... Back 
to the tray, which is in beautiful condition. It just it was just choked up, so it couldn't really do its job properly. So because it's in such good nick, we're going to bring our tray down onto our lintel. So we're probably going to put a new tray and tuck it under this one. Tuck it right under, so um, the lap will do the job. We don't need to cut that out and reseal a new one into that, we can just lap under it. Get some insulation behind it. And behind the lintel as well. There's a, yeah. It's got the blown in insulation, that nasty stuff, it's horrible. Should really have my mask on at the moment, but I'm going for a break now. So there you go. That's us up to now, 20 to 10. Slow going. I've cut the, I've cut the uh, blunt teeth off the saw now. So we're onto our next section. So it'll probably take us two saws worth, but it still works out better than going back home. So yeah, let's go and get a quick break. We'll see you back here. And we're back. Yes, we're back. There's Alex with his pile of bricks, I think there's about 50 isn't there Al? I think so yeah. And they're all out and no breakages. No breakages, um, only wood. <laughs> on your handle. So there you go, Alex has just finished cleaning them, I've just got the last one out. So you saw all this shite that's come out of the, tr of the cavity tray, there's a bit of it. The rest of it's in a bag over there. So tray's nice and clean now. We will have to extend it to get it over our lintel and down. So we'll put a piece underneath underneath that. There you go, there's an actual RSJ on the inside of this one. Can you see the hair nails been shot into it? They shot him with a gun, if you didn't know. Um, yeah. So we're going to insulate in that hair, in that ver gap for our train and then insulate that bit there. And talking of insulation, if you obviously this isn't towards DIY people, this isn't a DIY job. But anyone doing lintels, um, bring insulation with you. At least four sheets of 50 mil and then if the, if the house has insulation in it, you can insulate your what you're doing. And also when you've got this blown in stuff, as you can see there, we cut like 120 mil strips and push it into the cavity to stop all the stuff exiting the cavity and going all over the street because this stuff's bad enough, it's horrible it's like, um, it's hard to describe it's each goes to powder horrible stuff so yeah, that's what we're up to we're just going to get it all tidied up get a mix in and then have a quick dinner and then get it all put back in again with the new lintel um, I'll probably just film time lapse just taking the lintel out well, um, no, only for time lapse, it will just film it. So there's that, there's the trim. But that's all the moisture back in. Stops the water, stops the moisture getting out. Seals it all in. And as you can see where it's been stuck to the lintel. There's all the, there's your um, telltale knackered lintel orange so that thing's ready to pop out now so we're going to get that out and get our dinner right i'll hop up and get this thing out first It's out. Ready for us to slot our new one in now. And then we'll get a couple of packers on top of the um, 
not that it's going to need it, but on the top of the two mullions we'll put a pack of the, and we'll put a pack of the, so the mullions will take the weight of the brickwork as, until it goes off and it's be self-supporting then. Yeah, so far so good. The weather's behaving itself. So there we go. Um, right, see you in a bit. So we're back on ground level. There's a big gaping hole. So, let's go and get this link up. There it is. Upgrade. It's a big upgrade. A monster. Yes. As you can see, the upstand is double, double in a bit probably, so that's where the strength is in the upstand. No better point you here, God knows this. Good God, that's a mess, isn't it? Oh, not as good quality as the last one. Thank you, it's galvanised, that won't be expanded. No. It's just, it's just, um, the bricks will be tight over that bit anyway. Yeah. Without bloody all that gobbled up on it. We might have to grind some of that back. Take the lump off it. Anyway, let's get it round there. Oh, right. Quick before the gate shuts on us again. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Go oh yeah, go on. It's quite long. Right, I'm gonna try and lift it onto that plank. Yeah. No, you're okay. Yeah. Go on. A bit more. Okay. Right, so that winkle's on. Dad's just finishing up his lunch, he should be out in a minute, so now that winkle's up, I'm just gonna get this tidied up a little bit. I'm gonna gather some stuff up, get it all put in bags, what we can at the moment. Then bricks, as Dad said, cleaned all the bricks off, they're all ready. So once this is clean, load all them up, and then I'm gonna get a mix on. Probably just half a mix will do it because these little jobs don't, don't take up any mortar. And you can't see it, but we've set up the mixture at the back just so we don't uh, ruin any of the any of the driveway. So set up there on the grass, lintels over there as you can see, and I think that's it. I'll get you set up on time lapse while I have a quick tidy up and uh, get these bricks out. So. Do my closing transition. No, I don't. Never mind. It's, when I say so, just, just Right, now the really tough bit. Alex is going to get a mix in. 
this rascal's got to go behind those acros down there so we don't know what we're going to do with it just yet we think we're going to get the old steel we've took out put it on the scaffold across there so it sticks in there lift it across onto it which it shouldn't tip because it's it's got um, it's like three meters long so it should take the weight should and then once we get in far enough we'll get the ladder down here underneath it and then it's going to be held then then we can lift it up from there and in so I'll film it hopefully it won't be on you've been framed no nope. It is quarter to two. It always goes quick in the morning, then it drags. But no, it, it, it goes well in the morning, then it goes fast. So I've just had to grind all this off here. That's not um, actually metal. Though. That's that's the galvanised that I've had to, to grind down. As you can see, it's quite bubbly. They must have dipped it and just hung it at this end, and then it's dried. But that was like a good five mil too high. Luckily, we've got a big bed on this first course, so. It'll just be almost a dry bed on the bottom course. I'm going to extend that cavity tray down. Uh, that's just, just get an upstand on it there. And we we'll have to fettle it at the other end. We've got to put a couple of packers on each mullion. And then we're away. Uh, all insulated. Um, it's also behind the lintel as well. We've insulated behind the steel. So it's all, because it's just steel behind that, so it's all nice and warm. To extend that, enough to put an upstand on, uh, just to get past that, which should be there. Yeah, so Alex has said the nicks are nearly ready, he's going to get that over here. On this board, on our nice rhino stands. And we're going to get this in. The first two go in quite quick, but then this top one takes ages getting this, this top bed filled in. So yeah. There he is, put a mix in over there. There he is, Al. Um. On the blower, probably to his mum. <laughs> yeah. So while he's, well, um, I'll stick on time, that's why we get this bit done. So, um, catch you in a bit. Quick one while we're doing the uh, little tips. There you go, we've got our there's our extended that's the end of the tray. This this piece is nine inch, it goes up, laps up well behind over hundred mil up. So there's nothing getting down there. So it's all protected. But um whenever you're going over the window, always pack it because you've got the gap. So you've got a packer here over the mullion. And we've got another packer here over this mullion. Not that this lintel needs packing, because it just it won't bend, but it's just good practice. And also, when I stick this trim on, those little packers there will give us something to stick the um, trim to. We've got the double-sided tape, but it also gives something to put a bit of mortar on. It also gives us a bit of silicon to stick to, stop it pulling off. But yeah, that's it. Lines up. Alex just gave me a book. Oh, Alex has got me a bucket of water. So now it's time to get this brickwork back in. So catch you in a bit.
Right, let's get this before the battery dies. All sorted. Extra bit of pointing done. New lintel, as you can see sticking out there. 10 mil galvanized steel. Um, upgraded the tray, wheat vents in, even the trim on the window. And we're done. One new lintel with an extra bit of pointing. We've gone up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses. All done. Trimmed up and sealed. As you can see. So, stay tuned. It will be on YouTube eventually. <laughs>